Thank you very much for coming our session. Uh, we are from NTT Communication. Uh, we present failure analysis under multi components, public cloud environment. Just a quick introduction for our service. Hello, I'm Noriko Yokoyama. I'm mainly working for developing operation tool at cloud department. I'm Hirotaka Kojima. I'm mainly working for virtual server in enterprise cloud as a software engineer. This is outline. Uh, firstly, we introduce our company and our service quickly because it helps you to understand the background of our challenges. And then we present experiences and challenges we faced. And next, we present proposed system, like how we analyze log and how we estimate failure codes. And then we present experiments. We will show you uh, experiment by using production data. And after that, we will show you demo and we wrap up this presentation. Introduction. We are from NTT Group, one of the world's largest ICT companies. Our company, NTT, NTT Communications, belongs to this group. This graph shows you some figures about NTT Group. NTT Group, uh, Fortune Global 100, uh, sorry, Fortune Global 180% choose NTT Group, and uh, we have $105 billion in total revenue. Regarding NTT Communications, headquarter is in Tokyo, and NTT Communication is one of the leading cloud providers in Japan and one of the biggest data center operators in the world. And our services include data center 140 countries, VPN 196 countries, global tier one internet backbone, and worldwide machine cable. And now, uh, what service do we use OpenStack? We use OpenStack in enterprise cloud. Actually, we provide, we provide hosted, provi hosted private cloud with Mirantis, and we also provide a public cloud. And today, we talk about public cloud. Uh, this is com OpenStack component which we use. Uh, dark blue ones are OpenStack component which we use. We use Horizon, Keystone, Nova, Glance, Cinder. And light blue ones are original component which developed by ourselves. And that is compatible or partially compatible API with OpenStack. And in the global market, Enterprise Cloud, our service, available in the 14 different regions. That's why we have multiple customers and multiple support teams. As I said before, uh, we provide a cloud service globally. Uh, based on this, uh, I, would like to I would like to explain experiences and the challenges we faced. Experiences in the operation. We operate OpenStack every day. In our case, user means customer, so customer create uh, VM or uh, volume or uh, image and so on. And and then uh, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, we are uh, sorry. Uh, operation. Our operation is categorized into two uh, group. One, use that support to uh, fix infrastructure failure. Both of them are, uh, had same escalation flow. Tier one uh, received the inquiry from user, or tier one received alert from monitoring system, and then tier one created ticket to tier two, and tier two and tier three uh, fix uh, infrastructure failure or 
uh, solve the cus customer's problem. As I said before, we provide service in the global, so we receive many tickets. As a monitoring system, we use traditional service such as Zabbix. This is very useful to, uh, solve, uh, to, to detect a failure of hardware, resource, process, service. However, it's not perfect solution uh, to solve uh, user error for OpenStack. So if you use traditional service for OpenStack, uh, you'd be difficult whether uh, uh, it would be difficult to find out whether uh, it is uh, because of customer or provider side. And that's why we have to conduct log analysis. However, it's difficult to do that. So I would like to explain three challenges in log analysis. First challenge is each logs are on different hosts. OpenStack has various logs. For example, Nova has six logs, and Shinda has three logs, and Grant has two logs. Uh, and if you are using OpenStack on the production environment, you would use uh, multiple hosts. So logs, each logs are located at different hosts. So uh, it makes you diff feel difficult to find which log has error. Second challenge is log is difficult to read. Uh, generally, OpenStack is OpenStack log is written in the order uh, that user requests. So, which means if you have a lot of user, uh, the log is written uh, same time on the same time. So, it is difficult to read, and some. So maybe uh, you filter with request ID or some character. Uh, if you do so, uh, however, uh, it's difficult to do that because the log is still big. And such challenges, sharing knowledge and experience is not easy. Uh, if if become the professional of the OpenStack operator. Uh, Maybe you can uh, find a cause of error quickly. However, uh, you can't uh, solve all the problem by yourself only. We need a team. However, uh, it's difficult to share the knowledge and the experience if we train the operator. If we try to operator, it takes too much time. And if we write document, maybe some operator doesn't read and doesn't understand. From now, uh, I would like to show you two examples to uh, explain uh, our challenge in detail. First example is Keystone token is expired. Uh, user create image from volume. However, uh, user can't upload it. So user can't understand the reason why, so ask for solving problem to operator. And then, Operator check log and analyze scores and find the line image not also image not authorized. So operator noticed Keystone token is expired. In this case, error log uh, error is written on the Shinda volume dot log and the line of log is 18. Maybe you thought uh, 18 just 18 log is easy to uh, find the cause. However, uh, in this case, Shinda has Shinda has the other two logs also, Shinda API and Shinda API.log and Shinda schedule.log. Shinda schedule so these logs are on the different hosts, so you need to find out the cause, you need to go to there first, and then you find, uh, you check the log, and after that, uh, you go to the storage node, and then finally you can find uh, this error. So you take, you take much time to do that. Example two, overlap the IP address. 
In this case, user create, try to create a VM. However, Horizon display error, no valid host found. Only, only this information, user can't understand the reason why we user can't create VM. And then user ask for solving problem, operator, and then operator check log and then find the line that IP is already taken. Then we notice the overlap the IP address, overlap the IP address. This error is written on the novaconductor.log and the line of log is 394. So uh, as I said before, uh, sorry, this log is filtered by request ID. Even if filtered by request ID, uh, the, the line of the line of log is long. So it takes too much time to find the codes. Yes, so again, uh, our challenge is uh, three. One, uh, each logs are on the different host. And two, log is difficult to read. And th three, uh, sharing knowledge and experience is difficult. Okay, so to solve these problems, we developed a operationalizing tool. We, this is a failure analysis tool for tier two and tier three operators who analyze log every day. And the goal of our system is to automatically analyze log data and estimate the cause of user's operation failure. Because almost all inquiries come with time, UUID, and operation, so we list time, UUID, operation, and estimated causes. And when the user makes an inquiry to an operator, operator can search the related log from the list based on UUID, and operator can easily know the estimated causes. In this case, overlapped IP address is the estimated cause. And of course, the estimation with 100 accuracy is very difficult. So the operators also know the logs related to the user's operation failure. And also, operators know the flow of components and also know the multiple estimated errors. This information can help operators to, to know the cause of error. And by using this system, we want to accelerate the operational flow, that is operationalization. Then we move to architecture to achieve this goal. Our system is composed of two parts. First is log collection, and the second is machine learning. And in the log collection part, the system collects log of each component, and then create a log unit. One log unit is one user's operation containing error. And in the machine learning phase, the system estimates the cause of error of each log unit. And finally, as an interface, it outputs the list of error and causes to the operator. So from next slide, I'll explain the main two parts. First main part is log collection. And in this phase, the system collects log of each component, no bars in the glance, and create a log unit. And so first, we get the uh, error sentences and extract request IDs. And then we get log related to the request ID and create a unit. This log unit is one user's operation log containing error. And basically, we use request ID, but sometimes there is a situation that the request ID doesn't exist. For example, in glance of our environments, we used process ID for alternative ID. 
So we first extract date and process ID from error sentences, and then we get log related to the date and process ID and created a log unit. And after creating log unit, we move to machine learning phase. In machine learning phase, we create feature vector and then estimate the cause of error. And as feature, we used word feature vector. And we only used errors in, uh, sorry, we only used words in error sentences. So first, we extracted sentences, including errors. And after that, by using back of words, we created word feature vector. The elements of word feature vector is the frequency of word. And for this back of words, you, we used Zenshin, which is Python free library. You, by using this library, you can easily use back of words method. And as a classification method, we use random forest because this is one of the major classification method. First, I quickly explain what random forest is. Random forest is composed of multiple decision trees, and each branch point has a conditional expression, in this case, frequency threshold. And in training phase, the, each decision tree is constructed using a random subset of training data, and in test data, and in test phase, each decision tree outputs the estimated table. And finally, it outputs the most common result as the estimated error. However, in this case, we can't prepare all the error levels. So we have to judge the out of known errors as the unknown errors. So to solve these problems, we use the probability of each label. And if there is a label whose probability exceeds 0 0.8, the system outputs that the estimation is that label. And in other cases, the system estimates that the output is unknown. For example, in the first example, system output unknown because uh, probabilities are scattered. And it's in the second example, the system output level one because the probability of level one exceeds 0 0.8. In this method, we handle known errors and estimated the cause. And for random forest, we used scikit-learn, which is a Python library as well. Then we move to experiment. Experimental purpose is to confirm the estimation accuracy. And we estimate the cause of failure using random forest. At the estimated levels, we prepared nine levels, including unknown. And here is an experimental result environment. We use one region from our environment, which has 140 computer nodes. And we used one month log of Nova, Shinda, and Grant, and the size is as listed. And from this log, we created log units. The number of log units is more than 2,000. And then we label the data and created train data and test data set. Here is the name of labels. For example, NOVA01 is overlapped IP address, and GRANT01 is disconnection during uploading. And from this data, we randomly selected five data of each label and totally 40 data for train data. And as test data, we added 
40 unknown errors to the test data set, and totally we used 80 data set, 80 data. And we used different data between train and the test, and we used oversampling for the small data. In this case, NOVA03 and SINDA03. And here is the experimental result. We used precision, decoder, and ref measure, and it shows that the estimation is high. So in spite of a small train data, the system estimated errors with high accuracy. For example, NOVA is overlapped IB address. And in this case, the system estimated correctly. In this test data, IP address blah blah is already, already taken repeats many times, and the frequency varies between data, but in spite of that case, the system judged correctly. But in some cases, the system estimated incorrectly. For example, both are NOVA04, which is expired token. But in test data two, system estimation was unknown and mistook. This is because the OC URL was not private to the Newton client is missing in this test data two. So in the case that some part of error sentences is missing, like this, the system sometimes mistook. And in another case, this test data is internal server error, but system output, this is NOVA04, which is expired token. This is because OCURA was not provided to the neutron client, it also exists in this test data. So, but to solve this problem, we can add the new label internal server error. And adding new label internal server error to this system, we think the system is made correctly. Then we move to demo. Please imagine the situation that you got uh, inquiry from the user. What do you do in that situation? In our system, you can use OFA command, which stands for OpenStack Fail Analysis. And by tapping OFA command, you can see the list of error causes. And also, using UUID, you can filter the customer's error and the cause. And you can easily know the, the cause is overlapped by the address. And also by tapping the option command, you can see the details of estimation. And also you can confirm the log Conventionally, in, when, you, when we analyze log data, it takes 50 minutes or so, but by using this system, operators can analyze the error within five minutes or so. Finally, we will explain conclusion and future task. We think there is two main contributions in our presentation. First one is the proposition of a new operation tool. To improve operation, we developed a failure analysis tool which estimates the failure causes automatically from, from log data. And by using this system, Beta can easily know the cause of error and rapidly reply to the 
customer's inquiry. And the second contribution is uh, analysis of actual log data. We conducted an experiment and confirmed that the system estimates errors with high accuracy even when the train data size of each level is small. This means by leveling only small data, we can add the new causes to this system. And we are considering three future tasks. First one is the expansion of the variety of causes. For example, in this case, we used only single component log, but in the future, we plan to consider multiple components log. And for this analysis, we plan to utilize log request ID mapping. Log request ID mapping is a contribution to the OpenStack community Newton version by NTT R&D. And this function is to get request ID in a response from another component in OpenStack clients. And it outputs uh, related to request IDs in one line. This implementation is done in some components. And here is a project page. Actually, there, this function is composed of two parts. One is return request ID to caller and log request ID for each API call. So if you are inter interested in this project, please visit these pages. And also, we plan to use other features. For example, users' operation history and resource. And second future task is improvement of interface and operations, and we want to accelerate the operationalization. By making the function to add new labels while using this system in operations, we want to expand the range of labels. We want to add new labels to this system. And also we want to open this system to a wide range of operators and to accelerate operationalization. We think the efficient operation is very important because for operators, they can save their money, yes, sorry. they can save their time and also user immediately gets the response from the operation, operator. And final future task is open data. We want to open the library data and create them with the community. So if you are interested in this project, please come to us. Thank you. So do you have any questions or comments? I have uh, interest in your work. So where should I? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, so there must be some project uh, page URL. What's uh, Now, so at last, now you mentioned, so if someone is interested in your works, okay, and so come and join us. That's what you said, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm Japanese, and so uh, I will restate uh, my question in uh, Japanese. He's, he's asking about, uh, are you asking about a uh, page, page? You are very right. Uh, yeah. uh, at this time, we can't prepare the project page. Yes, Not we plan yeah, okay. that, so. Thank you. Okay, then we conclude our session. Thank you. Thank you.